Welcome to this masterclass on mind coaching that can potentially change your life. My name is Priyanka Rao. I'm a professional mind coach in India and I'm going to show you how you can train your mindset uh, and transform it in six weeks. Now, I'm not a counselor. I don't do talk therapy sessions. I'm not a therapist. I'll not be performing a therapy on you. I'm a coach. I'll be teaching you tools and techniques from the sciences of neuro-linguistic programming, subconscious mind programming, energy psychology and belief clearing so that you can actually rewire your conscious mind and reprogram your subconscious mind on your own once you learn these techniques. Now in this one hour masterclass, I'm going to show you how your sponsoring thought which is the predominant thought in your mind, attracts what you believe, what you fear, not what you think. I'm going to show you how you have a duality of the mind and how does both the parts of the mind speak to each other and how you can make it work for you. I'm going to show you how your mind is wired to think negative, but you can bypass it. And in the end, I'm going to share with you four mental commands to help you start this journey of reprogramming on your own. Now, a couple of housekeeping rules here. Uh, please grab a pen and a paper. You will need it. There'll be a lot of takeaways. So if you don't have it yet, now's a perfect time for you to go grab that. Secondly, the subject is such that it can be a word I say, a tool I give you, a sentence I give you, a concept I give you, and it can create a eureka moment in you, a light bulb moment in you, or an aha moment in you. So look out for those moments. And do take a space without any distractions because it's going to be a very intense, interactive and a very engaging next one hour for you. See you at the masterclass. You attract what you believe and not what you think. Starting today, you will start creating your tool. My name is Priyanka Rao. I am a professional mind coach and now a purpose friend. I am Priyanka Rao, I'm the apple of my parents' eye, roommate to a 50 kilo Rottweiler dog who shares my room, not my bed. Um, and welcome to this masterclass on mind coaching. I'm looking for my space under the sun, but I found my life's purpose very, very early in my life. I am a nerdy bookworm turned luxury hotelier, turned internationally certified image consultant, um, turned e-commerce startup founder, and now a professional mind coach in India. I was born in Goa and that's where I'm speaking to you from right now, but I've led a very nomadic childhood. My father used to work for an airline, so I've moved countries every three years uh, and my education and my growing up has been nomadic. So most of my growing up has been in Nepal, in France, in south of Spain, in Prague, in Saudi Arabia. I hold a postgraduate degree uh, and an undergraduate degree in business management from Jaint College, Mumbai, and uh, a degree in marketing and strategy from the Warwick Business School, north of London. I've spent a little less than a decade with Marriott India um, on their national corporate sales team. And that opportunity also took me to Bangalore, where we opened the first Ritz-Carlton Hotel in India, which is the topmost luxury brand in hospitality. Eventually, in 2015, I quit the industry, I turned an entrepreneur, I went to America, I got certified as an image consultant and I came to Goa and um, I started opening my image consultancy and eventually from working on the outside, I now work on the inside as a mind coach. But I've been studying the mind since I was 21, so it's been almost 15 years for me, so a lot of what I share with you today comes from a place of experience and not just a place of theory and I hope it adds Ajma's value to you as much as it did to me right so I love this quote that I saw on a Deepak Chopra training program I went under which said teach what you most need to learn and this is me a lot of what I share with you is what I use my own personal growth and my own mindset programming in the 20s um, and I really, really hope it can create that much of a shift and transformation in you as it did for me. So like most of us, uh, you know, uh, I acquired belief systems in childhood and I'm going to go a little bit more into detail in that later. So in order to help me overcome those belief systems, you know, um, I've 
that was the reason why I actually became a mind coach. So today as a coach, I help you live without dependency mentally and emotionally. I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist. My job is to teach you tools and techniques so that you can be self-sufficient and practice those techniques on your own, you know, without requiring me or any other coach intervention in future. My credentials are on the screen. I am a certified uh, practitioner of neurolinguistic programming from the Society of Neurolinguistic Programming co-founder Dr. Richard Bandler. I'm an internationally certified practitioner in belief clearing, um, in energy psychology, and um, I've spent uh, a lot of time as an image consultant and I'm an alumni of the London Image Institute. Only in this pandemic, in this past one year, I have clients across 28 cities in India and three countries. I've clocked in over 650 coaching hours. I've had the privilege of hosting masterclasses for over 13 companies, nine education institutions, nine associations, and I've appeared on television. Um, I've been the keynote speaker at the Indian Medical Association and uh, National Conference 2019 for the Women's National Conference 2019. And I am absolutely privileged to be here having this masterclass with you. Right. So what you see on the screen here right now is what I call the other pandemic. It is the pandemic that is running in the minds of people. Now, what you see on the screen is the top presenting issue that have come to me only in this past one year. Right. If you see the number one is low self-worth and then you have, you know, uh, challenges and stress related to your personal relationships feeling stuck and stressed in your career, in your profession, um, and then is anxiety and fear of virus. Now, one would think we're living in a health pandemic, right? So it should create health issues, fear of death or losing loved ones or anxiety because of the virus. But no, the current pandemic is triggering existing belief systems in you which you've acquired in childhood and now it's surfacing and creating changes in your behavioral patterns, thought patterns and your in entire environment. But the good news is that you were never born with this and I'm going to show you how. Now look at the little sentence at the end of the slide. Results experienced in three to five weeks. This is not because I'm a phenomenal coach. Let me put it right out there. This is because your subconscious mind is that powerful and it can start reprogramming and releasing in three to five weeks. In some cases, finish reprogramming and releasing in three to five weeks. So I've had clients have removed depression in 45 days, fear of death in 45 days, fear of losing your loved ones in four to five weeks, overthinking low self-worth four to five weeks, fear of driving in one week, public speaking in three weeks, exams in two and a half weeks. That's how powerful your, um, your subconscious mind is and the magic and the might lies in you. So claim that power today and start that journey on your own starting today. So if you really, really enjoy this subject, you can find me on social media on Mind Coach Priyanka Rao, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. We've got tons of videos out there. I'm also available on LinkedIn as Priyanka Rao. Um, so I share a lot of information, mindset hacks, mindset tools and tips on our social media. So if the sub subject really interests you, you can continue the journey with me uh, by joining me on my online community and you have free access to all that information on our social media. Right. So let's start right away. The 2019, ladies and gentlemen, was rather grim year for India. We were declared the most de uh, depressed country in the world by World Health Organization. They said one in every five Indians is suffering from anxiety uh, or depression. Now, I'd like to believe that because of our social fabric, our cultural fabric and our spiritual fabric, we're actually quite a happy, content um, country but perhaps because of our numbers we were declared the most depressed country in august last year the you know the top most google search was therapy in august again the international labor organization declared that 50 percent of the global youth are depressed you know and 17 percent are out of jobs in september times now had a startling survey where they declared one in every two indians is suffering from anxiety now we are a country of 1.2 billion people so you can imagine one in every two indians is a huge huge number 
and the Economic Times declared that the Indian private corporate sector is estimated to have a loss of 1.03 trillion dollars by 2025 because your mental health issues has a direct impact on absenteeism, job satisfaction, on productivity and performance and in the end the bottom line of the company, right? Um, so on a global level, these are the topmost fears that people actually have. The fear of public speaking, which affects 75% of the population on earth, and the fear of snakes. So if any of you have fear of public speaking, know that you're in the majority, there's nothing to be worried about, and it can be removed at a mindset level. So something like snakes, you know, water, heights, requires hypnotherapy or gradual exposure to the object of fear. But something like fear of failing or fear of, you know, losing your loved ones or fear of uncertainty can be removed at a mindset level. And for some of you, you're going to actually start their journey today, right? So on a global level, if those are the top two most feared, the snakes in public speaking, what are the other fears that people actually have? The fear of falling sick of medical bills, of death. This is why the pandemic has created such mental health issues because it has triggered the topmost fears that people actually have. The other ones are war, crime, natural disasters, pollution, and the fear of falling short of money. But on an individual level, micro level, these are the kind of fears that we all have. The fear of change. Your comfort zone traps you so much that you don't want to come out of your comfort zone. You don't want to try something new. But you know what they say? What you want is on the other side of fear. Fear of loneliness, so video games, social media, addictions, all a result of it. The fear of failing, of being told no, of being judged, lo kya kahenge, what will my family think, what will society think. Fear of losing your freedom, something bad is happening, this doom story constantly running in your mind. The fear of getting hurt, feeling unworthy, not feeling good enough. And a big one, the fear of uncertainty. But here's the good news now. None of us were born with these fears. Your subconscious mind is born fearless, complete, enough. Remember you as a child? You had no fears. You had no negative emotions. You know, when you were young, you believed that you could do, have, and, you know, want whatever you want in life. You could, you know, you, if you had dreams, what were your dreams as a child? I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a prime minister. I want to be a cricketer. I want to be an actor. I remember when I grew up, I grew up watching Aishwarya Rai and Sushmita Sen becoming, you know, being crowned Miss Universe and Miss World. And at that age, that's what I wanted to be. I want to be a, you know, a beauty queen. Nobody told me I'm going to stop growing at five feet and there's no way I'm going to reach a beauty pageant. But in my mind, that's what I believed I could be. And I was convinced that I could be a beauty queen. So when you are young, you believe that you can do, have and be whatever you want, which is why. The subconscious mind can be reprogrammed to go back to its original state, your authentic state, your original state. And it does not take it more than three to five weeks to start reprogramming. So if even not born with our fears, where do we actually acquire them? Most of us get our fears between the age of seven and 14. And they come from two sources, our parents and our family, because at that age, they are your biggest role model and your school environment, your teachers and friends, right? So if you get positive, um, positive uh, words, positive encouragement, uh, if your hetero suggestions, what is coming from the outside, when you're young is positive. When you grow older, it leads to positive behavioral patterns and thought patterns. But if it's negative, it leads to destructive behavioral patterns. So let me give you certain examples. I had a client of mine who is, you know, who owns a wet pharmaceutical business in Bangalore. She's 25 years old, fabulously successful, you know, at her age, but lacking in confidence, lacking in self-worth, needs external validation. Why? Because as a child, her parents always told her, we don't have time for you. We're very busy in our business. You know, go to doctor on your own, go to school on your own. You know, she used to spend her time alone at home all day. So she grew up feeling unloved and lack of self-worth and confidence. Another client of mine who's an engineer in, in, uh, in a software company who was constantly told her child, Tum chu beto, tujhe kuch nahi pata. don't talk in front of adults. You don't know anything. You're just a child. So he grew up believing his opinions don't matter. He doesn't matter. So he couldn't speak up. So even when he's in a company, he can't speak up if he deserves a pay rise or a promotion or even to go to and apply to a new job because he feels that he, he's not able to speak up. 
right? I had another client of mine who is a 49 year old um, gentleman who works for a stock broking investment firm in Bombay. And at eight years old, he heard somebody tell, you know, his grandmother that his mother is an orphan. That statement hit him so hard, he felt, what if I become an orphan? And unfortunately, when he turned 12, he tragically lost his dad. So that opinion got reaffirmed into a belief and till 49, he had a fear of losing his loved ones. So your fears can come from anywhere in your childhood. The root can come from anywhere and the tributaries can come up in different ways. So let me give you my own personal story. If you saw my journey, I spent a lot of my early years in Europe. So I was seven years old when I went to Europe. It was the early 90s. India was looked down upon as a third world country. I literally had to go to a globe and show people where India existed. And I was studying in an American school. And in such a school, I had to fit in, forget making friends, so on an everyday basis, I would be told, we don't want to play with you. We don't want to sit with you. You know, we don't want to be friends with you. We don't want to eat with you. And for this young girl at that age, you don't understand racism. You don't understand bullying. You absorb that to be a feeling on your part, a shortcoming in you. I am not good enough. I'm not as good as them. Something is wrong with me. That's why they don't want to be friends with me. And a lot of the belief systems I acquired then got triggered uh, when you know I turn an adult, which is why I started studying the mind at 20 to help me overcome the beliefs, which I did across my 20s. So a lot of what I share with you comes from a place of experience and not just theory. Right. So like everybody else, when I went through certain challenges in my life, which was being triggered by belief systems, I tried to read books, you know, so The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle was one of the first books I read. You know, I went, I traveled to seek answers. I sought spiritual assistance. Um, I went on solo trips. This is me in Rishikesh on a solo trip, you know, trying to discover me. I even left the topmost hospitality job at 30 without a job in hand because I realized I'm miserable and I need to create and change my life. And from there in five years today, I'm living my purpose and not my profession. And this is all because of reprogramming and rewiring. And I really hope for some of you, you actually achieve that level of freedom emotionally and mentally as well. Right, so some of my clients here, uh, this Dr. Samuel, it was the president of the Indian Medical Association, Goa chapter. He actually went through a masterclass with me and in seven sessions, he acquired his Ikigai. The Ikigai is his purpose in life. You know, architect Gauri, um, she had anxiety for the virus. She used to wash her hands 30 times a day, four weeks, overcame her virus. Uh, Dr. Shilpa is a dentist in Pune. She was stuck, lost. Uh, in her life after spending you know her entire uh, life bring up her kids and becoming a dentist in the first week itself she was able to see a shift in her and she eventually fell in love with herself at the end of the program imagine that Nitesh is a cricketer in Hyderabad who plays for you know the state level and he had performance anxiety he had self-doubt in 15 days he could choose how he felt and thought imagine that that's how powerful your mind is. Mr. Vedya is a banker in Mumbai who had health issues because of his anxiety and overthinking. In five weeks, his health improved. Uh, you know, he went off his anxiety and some of you will be able to actually start that right away. So what are we going to learn this masterclass? You're going to learn that you attract what you believe, not what you think. I'm going to show you how you can reprogram your mind on your own. And I'm going to share four mental commands at the end. So stay till the end because you can start reprogramming starting today. All right. You're going to understand what the Roman Emperor Marcus said that a man's life is what his thoughts make of it. You'll really understand what William James, the father of American psychology mentioned when he said a man's life uh, you know, can be altered. The greatest discovery of our generation is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitudes. You'll understand what Ralph Emerson mentioned when he said you become what you think about all day. But I'll also show you that you become what you believe all day and what you fear all day right so let's begin right away i hope you have your pens and papers ready and we're going to start this master class now when we talk of an image of a person there are always two elements to it one is your image within what's happening on the inside and one is your image without what's happening on the outside your external image now your external image is what the world can see of you your appearance your behavior your communication your staff image your off your office image your online image how do you project yourself on social media 
But here's the first truth of the day I'm going to share with you. Your external environment is a reflection of your inner environment. When the inner shifts, the external starts shifting. So let me give you some examples here. Um, I'm sure some of you have a fear of public speaking or at least you know somebody who's scared of public speaking. What happens to them when they see a stage or a daze or an audience or a mic? Their palms sweat, their throat goes dry, their vocal cords contract, their mind goes blank, they're stammering, stuttering, they are sweating, their legs are shaking. The fear is internal, but the body on the outside is reacting to it. So your external environment reflects the internal. So once the inner shifts, the external shifts and it's magical when that happens. I'll give you a beautiful example here. I had a client of mine who was, um, you know, an ex-Air Force um, personnel airman and now works for a bank in Ludhiana. And he came from a very, very abusive childhood. His father was physically, mentally, emotionally abusive to such an extent that he used to actually be scared to actually go home. So even after going into the armed forces and getting that strength conditioning, his beliefs had not gone away. So every time he would see a man close to his father's age or an authoritative figure, he, it would trigger the past fears. And for him, his, that was his branch manager, right? So in week three or week four of our mind coaching program, he met me and he tells me, Priyanka, uh, I've got some news for you. So I'm like, what is it? My boss has got transferred. And I've got a new boss now and he treats me like a human and not an animal. Now nothing happened, we didn't work on his boss, we only worked on his subconscious. But when his inner shifted, his external environment started shifting and uh, he was able to get a more productive, conducive, healthier environment at work. So it can be really, really magical when you start seeing that happen in your life. But it can happen the other way around too. Your inner can also shift to the external. So a lot of people right now have anxiety because of the virus, right? So everything they hear about on WhatsApp University, social media, news, debates is triggering that fear and then causing the anxiety in them. So the external is shifting the internal. I'll give you another example. You know, say I'm sitting here in Goa and I love butter chicken. Okay, abroad they call it chicken tikka masala. And I'm sitting here watching MasterChef Australia, you know, that famous cookery show. And one of the contestants is, you know, cooking chicken tikka masala or butter chicken as we call it in, in India. Sitting here in Goa, if I love it, what's going to happen to me as I watch it on the television? Hunger pangs, cravings, temptations. I'll want to order it or cook it. Now, technically that butter chicken is imaginary. It is sitting in a television screen. Among my five senses, I can only see it. I can't even smell it, taste it or touch it. But here's the second truth I'm going to share with you. Your mind does not know the difference between real and imaginary. Your mind does not know the difference between real and imaginary. It sees the butter chicken, believes it to be real, causes the cravings in me. When you understand this, you can make the mind believe what you want it to believe and it can be reprogrammed. That's how powerful you are. So keeping this in mind, what can be your internal image within which is destructive? I lack confidence. I have limitations. I am my biggest limitations. I'm only stopping myself from going to where I want to go. You know, I feel inferior. I'm lost and confused. I have this fear. I have those phobias. Or can I do it? I have self-doubt. You know, I second guess myself. I don't love myself. I can't even see myself in the mirror and say I love you. I feel like a failure. I want to live my life to the fullest, but I'm not able to. I'm bored and two big ones, low self-belief and low self-esteem. I'm going to spend a few seconds on these two pillars. Your self-belief is your confidence in your abilities, your capabilities and your craft. But your self-esteem is how much you love or like yourself. They are two very mutually exclusive, which means I can have a high self-belief or a low self-esteem or the other way around. I believe I'm a phenomenal coach, but I don't love myself. Or I love myself, may have my favorite who, but I think I'm an average coach. Now, the most successful minds in the world, 
Look at a Virat Kohli, a Priyanka Chopra, an Elon Musk, an Anand Mahindra, a Raji Bajaj, you know, or any of your sports heroes. They have a very high level of self-belief. They have worked on their abilities, their craft and become the best at what they do. And they love themselves. They invest in themselves emotionally, mentally, spiritually, uh, physically to build that. Because if any one of these pillars is low, it's going to bring you down. So you need to start building your self-belief and self-esteem in order to start reprogramming subconscious mind. Now here's a very important concept I shared with you. Did you notice that your mind can have conflicting belief systems? Your mind can have conflicting belief systems. Example, I'm a modern liberated educated woman, but I believe in Buri Nazar and I have a black dhaga tied to my leg. Or I'm a scientist, I'm a student of science, but I'll believe in ghosts. I once had a client of mine uh, who came from an industrialist family and his presenting issue to me was, I lack confidence. And a few minutes later he tells me, Priyanka, I have one more issue. I'm scared of being perceived to be overconfident. And both are existing in him peacefully. So when you discover conflicting belief systems, you will either drop both of them or you will keep the one you want to hold and drop the other when you actually start this journey on your own, right? So keeping this in mind, what are the top five most uh, common mindset challenges that people have? Anxiety and stress. I'm burnt out. There are no customers. When will the economy bounce back? I have EMIs and loans. My income is reduced. I have no work-life balance. I am working from home. My weekends have become weekdays. I have no end to my work day. Office politics makes me very anxious right now. Anxiety and stress. The other one is fear. Something is holding me back at work. Can I do it? What if I fail? I second guess myself. I hope I meet my targets. Hope I don't lose my job. I'm scared of coming out of my comfort zone. Everything's changing so fast right now. Everything's so dynamic. What if I can't adapt to it? Will I get a new job? You know, and I have a fear of falling sick or I'm a fear of losing loved ones. The other one is feeling stuck and lost. There is a huge community out there in this pandemic who are actually lost and stuck, living in this bubble, and they don't want to come out of it. I procrastinate. I do not take any action. I'm making excuses. I'm not taking responsibility. I'm actually unfulfilled. I feel like there's no direction in my life anymore. I've lost my dreams and goals. I feel very stuck. I'm very bored, I'm very monotonous, I need a change, I need to reinvent myself, but I'm not able to. Huge challenge currently. And the other two are, you know, overthinking and low self-worth. So overthinking could be, you know, your what if scenarios, what if this happens, what if that happens, fear of tomorrow, fear of uncertainty, you know, when will life come back to normal? And you're constantly overthinking what's something that doesn't exist. And low self-worth. My number one challenge that's come to me in this pandemic. I feel unappreciated. I feel abandoned. I feel rejected. I feel less than others. I feel inferior. I'm not good enough. I'm very different, so I'm not succeeding. If any of these are your challenges, remember, you were never born with them and you don't have to live with them, right? So start that journey of reprogramming. Start away and liberate yourself. So some of you might say, yes, I want help. I, where do I begin? You begin right here with me. And we're going to start how you're going to this journey of reprogramming right away. Okay. So the first model I'm going to teach you is the law of attraction and the law of belief. I'm going to introduce you to something called as your sponsoring thought and how that is attracting everything in your life. So the whole universe is a gigantic field of energy. Do you agree? your energy, I'm energy, you know, money, food, birds, animals, everything is energy in this world. So our feelings are energy, our childhood memories, our experiences, our fears, our emotions, everything is energy. Because everything is energy, energy operates on laws, absolute, complete, universal, non-negotiable laws that don't change for anybody. So if I drop this pen, it has to fall down. It can't turn around and tell me, sorry, Priyanka, I'm not working today. Law of gravity is taking a day off doesn't happen. Every action has to have an equal and opposite reaction as, as per Sir Isaac Newton. But because we're talking of energy, the biggest law in the world is the law of attraction, which is on your screen, which works on the premise of like attracts like. 
one energy attracts similar energy right example in point birds of the same feather flock together show me your five friends i'll show you who you are you are the average of the five people you keep company with or have you noticed you wake up and you've had a great start of the day maybe a great yoga or a great run you've had a good breakfast you're happy you know you're positive and things are going well for you for the rest of the day or the other way around you wake up you're angry you're irritated you've had a fight with somebody at home there's no water in your bathroom no electricity your domestic help has not come you're late to work you've had some accident on the on the road and by the time you come to work you know your your boss has sent you a stinker of an email and the rest of the day like a dominoes effect goes negative because that one energy at the start of the day attracts the rest of the day so very practically speaking think of it like fm channels right so if i'm on in goa on 91.9 i'm only going to attract one radio channel which is radio indigo i have to change my frequency to attract a different set of reality so only when i go to 92.7 will i attract big fm or when i go to 90 98.3 will i attract radio mirchi so whichever frequency i'm at i am only attracting that on the frequency Here's a important concept you need to understand by Nikola Tesla who was the father of AC power. He said to know the secrets of the universe think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Whatever frequency I'm at I'm only going to attract that. So if I am low, stuck, lost, depressed, I know it's wrong, I want to get out of it, but I can't. because i will only attract more people more experiences more situations that trigger it i have to shift my frequency to attract a different set of reality and that's what reprogramming does for you you shift your frequency and your external environment starts shifting right so for some of you you will actually understand this when you practically start using the mental commands i'm actually going to teach you okay so let's see how this works on a practical level in your lives I am just going to um, stop share and go into the whiteboard, and I'm going to explain to you how this actually works. Okay, so let's say here's an individual that thinks certain thoughts, and you'll have to excuse my artistic skills; they don't exist. All my art and craft was outsourced in school. So here's an individual thinking certain thoughts. Let's say the thoughts are. I want to be promoted. I think I deserve it and I'm ready for it. Now remember thoughts of energy, it operates on the law of like attracts like. So these thoughts will attract more similar thoughts. How do I get promoted? Am I should I be ready? Should I learn certain skill sets? Should I undergo some training? When do I speak to my reporting boss? Should I start acting the role already? Uh, so I exhibit those skills. all these are thoughts that are running in your mind they are increasing and increasing and increasing eventually all this energy starts attaching itself to each other and the energy converts into matter and comes to you in the form of a promotion this is basic law of attraction which states that if you ask for something and you believe it you will receive it Now this can be a promotion this can be a job this can be love this can be money this can be wealth this can be a house this can be a save puri it applies to everything right if you really enjoy this subject the law of attraction and you really want to understand more of it uh, i'm putting it up on the whiteboard the best book to start reading on this and the most commercially successful book is the secret by ronda Brian. So if this subject is new to you and you want to understand it a little more, pick up that book and you can start reading it straight away. So if this is how the law of attraction works, we should have everything we want in life, right? Anything I ask for should come to me, anything I want should come to me, but that doesn't happen. We don't get everything we want. So what's the missing gap? What's that missing link? Here's the third truth I'm going to share with you. These thoughts that you see here are only 10% of your thoughts. Your conscious mind, which is your logical, rational thinking mind that is right now listening to me and assimilating what I'm telling you is only 10% of your mind. Beyond this thought, 
is something known as your sponsoring thought. Think of the sponsoring thought as the thought behind the thought. It is your most predominant thought at the back of your mind. Wherever you go, it follows you. This is your subconscious mind. This is your belief systems as a child. These are your values that you acquired as a child. And this is a whooping 90% of your mind. And it is your sponsoring thought or your subconscious beliefs that is attracting what you are attracting in your life, which means you don't attract what you think. You attract what you believe. And I'm just going to pull up my, uh, my floating panel so I can share that with you. And just give me a moment. You don't attract what you think, you attract what you believe. So essentially, what you fear and what you believe is what is coming to you. So let me give an example here. Let's go back to the same example of promotion. Your, your conscious thought is I deserve a promotion. But your sponsoring thought is, what if I am not a leader? What if I don't have leadership qualities? What if my peers don't accept me as a leader? What if I fail? What if there's too much of stress in the job? What if I can't handle it? What if it affects my work-life balance? I'm actually quite happy where I am. And these thoughts stop you from taking action for your promotion or attracting it. Let's take another example. Let's say your conscious thoughts are, I want to get married. I'm ready to settle down. But your sponsoring thought is, I'm too old. All the good guys and girls are taken. I'm only getting uncles and aunties. Actually, I'm very happy single. I have a fear of love and commitment. What if I get monster in laws? What if my life changes after marriage? And these are your predominant thoughts and your sponsoring thoughts. And that stops you from attracting love or marriage or stops you from taking action to it. So your sponsoring thought drives your everyday decisions, actions, thoughts and processes. Sometimes you're aware of it, sometimes you're not even aware of it. When you change your sponsoring thought, everything else on the outside starts changing. All right. So keeping this in mind that this is your sponsoring thought, let us now see how we can actually reprogram it. Now, there are various ways to reprogram your subconscious mind and your sponsoring thought. But I'm going to share with you today the easiest tool, which is mental commands and how you can use mental commands on your own to start reprogramming. All right. So let's go straight away and look at how the mind works with mental commands and starts reprogramming. I'm just going to clear the whiteboard and uh, we're going to move to our next module, which you'll see on the screen, which is duality of the mind, right? So now that you've understood how the law of attraction works and how your sponsoring thought influences what you're attracting, you're now going to use the duality of the mind, two parts of your mind to actually start reprogramming with your mental commands. Okay, I'm going to stop share right now as we move to the second module and I'm going to move to the whiteboard again. Now, let's take a small trip into your mind. Here's your conscious mind, here's your subconscious mind and here is sitting all the events and experiences in your life. Now, we've just established that your conscious mind is 10% of your mind. Your subconscious mind is a whooping 90% of your mind and sitting here are all your events and experiences in your life. Now let's see how this works. Consider your conscious mind as the boss. The boss gives instructions to the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind like any good team member will do exactly what the boss says to the T to the letter. The conscious mind is your boss or your gatekeeper. It collects information based on your five senses and it transfers the information to subconscious mind. 
Now your subconscious mind is your creative medium. It is creating, right? So it absorbs that information, learns through repetition. You tell it again and again and again and again. It learns through repetition, believes it and creates it through your law of attraction or the law of belief in your life. So this is the gatekeeper and this is your subconscious mind. And this is absorbing everything the conscious mind is telling you and creating it in your life. Which means if you can change your mental commands and instructions at any point in time, it can change your life. It doesn't depend on your planetary positions or your Rahu Ketu or your astrology or your Kundli or seven years of bad luck. It depends on you. Of course, law of karma and law of destiny does play a role, but essentially you are the co-creator and you can change that the way you dialogue with your mind. Right? So here's the fourth truth I shared with you. Your mind learns through repetition. Now let's see how the mental commands actually work. There are two kinds of mental commands. So the first kind is heterosuggestions. Heterosuggestion is when the commands come from the outside. So when we were young, it came from outside. Your parents, your school, your grandparents, right? And the second one is auto-suggestions, when you tell the commands to yourself. So as a child, you receive heterosuggestions, and as you grow older, it becomes auto-suggestions. You keep telling yourself this, right? Now, we can use both hetero and auto-suggestions to reprogram your subconscious mind, and I'm going to show you how you do that, okay? I'm going to stop share right here, and we're going to go back into my slides, and I'm going to show you what is the conscious mind, what is the subconscious mind, and how you can now use it with your mental commands. So in red is your conscious mind and in purple is your subconscious mind. Your conscious mind, which is right now listening to me, is active and dominant when you are awake, like right now. But when is your subconscious mind awake? If we have to reprogram it, we have to do it when it's awake, right? Number one, your subconscious mind is awake when you're sleeping. This is why a lot of the great inventors Picasso, Michelangelo, Graham Bell, Einstein, Wright Brothers, Elon Musk, a lot of them got their inventions and ideas in their sleep and they quickly woke up and took notes. Now you know why, because your subconscious mind is awake when you're sleeping. If some of you have seen the movie Inception by Leonardo DiCaprio, it shows how you in your sleep you can plant a seed of thought which actually grows into a belief in you. But that doesn't help us much, right? Because most of us don't lucid dream. Most of us can't act subconscious when we are sleeping because we are sleeping. So we have to access it when you're awake. How do you do that? Number one, pay attention here. The first 10 minutes of your wake up, your subconscious mind is still awake, which is why you remember your dreams as soon as you wake up. But a few hours later, you don't remember details. So you'll use the first 10 minutes of your wake up with the mental commands I give you to reprogram subconscious mind. Secondly, your subconscious mind is awake when you're sleeping, right? So the last 10 minutes, just before you're going to sleep, your eyes are closing, you're half groggy, you're half sleepy, your subconscious mind is becoming awake. You can use your mental commands then. Then, use your mental commands in pranayam, yoga, meditation, prayer, very powerful subconscious periods. Fitness, when you're running, when you're jogging, when you're you know, in, a, in, a, in a rhythm, in a flow. This is why a lot of global heads and CEOs get a lot of strategic downloads creative ideas for their companies when they're running. It comes to them in their flow. So if you jog, you run, you're in fitness, great time to reprogram yourself. You can also reprogram yourself in physical inertia, which means I'm just sitting here, you know, drinking some water, I'm watching the sunset, I'm daydreaming, I'm wishful thinking. I can use it that fertile time to reprogram myself. So all these time periods are when your subconscious mind is the most receptive to reprogram mental commands, it's the most fertile time, use it then, right? Let's look at the second difference. Your conscious mind engages the external environment based on your five senses, what you see, smell, taste, touch and hear. But your subconscious mind doesn't need the five senses. It works on instinct, gut feeling, you know, insight, that feeling in your stomach, that voice in your head, that's your subconscious mind. 
so that you know how to identify it. And finally, the third difference on your screen is the most important. Your conscious mind is very objective and rational. It can analyze, it can study, it can assess, it can compare, it can choose, it can differentiate. It will tell you this is good, this is bad, this is right, this is wrong. But ironically, the subconscious mind, even though it's the most powerful seat on the table, it's 90% of your mind, cannot analyze, it cannot study, it cannot assess, it cannot compare, it cannot choose, it cannot differentiate. It will do exactly what the conscious mind told it. This is why when you're giving your subconscious mind commands, give it exactly what you want to pick up. So you can't say, I don't want to be scared of failing anymore. It doesn't understand don't want to. It picks up scared of failing, learns the repetition, believes it, makes you scared. You cannot say, I need to stop overthinking. It doesn't understand need to stop. It picks up overthinking, learns the repetition, believes it, makes you an overthinker. So rephrase it to give it exactly what you want to pick up because you cannot study. So instead of saying, I do not want to be scared of failing anymore, you're going to say, I'm fearless, I'm fearless, I'm fearless. It picks up, I'm fearless, learns repetition, believes it, makes you fearless. Instead of saying, I need to stop overthinking, you need to say, I'm confident or I'm calm or I'm peaceful. It learns repetition over time, believes it, makes you that, right? So my job is to make you self-sufficient remember as a coach so when you design your commands remember this very very important piece right so keeping all this in mind i'm going to go back into my whiteboard and i'm going to show you now how you can change these instructions and you can potentially change your life Okay, so I'm going to right away give you your four mental commands to help you actually start today. So here's the magic and the might in you. I've shown you how your mind works. Start making it work for you. Let's move to the final module of our masterclass. Keeping in mind that you're going to use your mental commands. Here's a beautiful screw that you see on the screen. Your beta state is your brain waves when you're awake. Alpha is when you're light sleeping or light meditation or daydreaming. Theta and delta is deep sleep, deep meditation. So essentially what we're doing is in the beta state, we are accessing your alpha and reprogramming it based on the time periods that I actually shared with you. Okay, so here are your four mental commands to help you actually bypass your negativity bias. Remember, your mind is wired to think negative. For every one positive thought, it gets six or seven negative thoughts automatically. If you're overthinking, this six, seven becomes 16, 17. If you're not an overthinker, you're able to curtail those six, seven thoughts and hold on to that one positive thought. So the mental commands I'm going to give you now will help you hold on to that one positive thought and start dropping those six to seven negative thoughts. Here's your first mental command. I hope you have your pens ready. The power of I am. I can't emphasize enough how powerful these two words are. I am. Everything after I am becomes a belief system that your subconscious mind picks up because no one can say I am except you. Even if I say I am, it's inward directed. It doesn't come to you. You know, in Sanskrit, they say, Aham Brahmasmi. I am that, I'm everything. Everything after I am becomes you. Now think of all the I am's you've used in the past or all the hetero suggestions you've got from your childhood. I am lazy. I'm a procrastinator. I'm scared. I am, uh, I can, I am uh, very, very uh, tired of my life. I am not happy. I'm not confident. All these IMs you've used have become you. Now think of all the hetero suggestions you've got from your childhood. Most of us have grown up hearing these statements. Life is hard. Life is a struggle. You know, uh, nothing comes easy. You know, you have to work hard. You know, nothing falls in your lap. Money doesn't grow on trees. Uh, money makes the world go round. If you're not rich, you're not successful. There's a time and age you get married, Priyanka. After that, you're only going to get leftovers and uncles and aunties. So just get married and finish off with it. Or there's too much of a competition out there. Stop playing and study. You won't get a seat in college. There's too much of a rat race. You have to be the best or you'll be left behind. Go early, you won't get a seat on the bus. 
if you don't reach on time all the vada pavs will be over we are constantly told these statements of scarcity lack fear that these become your belief systems these become what you believe as you grow older so let's start changing these now through the power of i am right so you can design your i am i'm just going to show you how to design them if you're going to right away start with i am fearless i am confident i am happy i am peaceful the mind will mock you what do you mean you're confident just the other day you were scared what do you mean that you know you can do it you're always overthinking it will taunt you and mock you it's not ready for the i ams yet so first start with i am open or i'm willing i am open to success i am willing to speak in public i am open to financial abundance i am willing to start my business this your mind will accept do this for one or two weeks and then move to i am ready for success i am ready to speak in public i in white wealth i in white confidence i in white happiness and then in one or two weeks you are ready for i am i am confident i am fearless i am abundant i am happy i am able to speak in public i am doing well now the mind will start taking it so use this journey one or two weeks one or two weeks to reprogram it remember use these commands when your subconscious mind is active the time periods i mentioned to you right so the power of i am is my first takeaway to you the second one this is for those who have limitations in your mind the buts in your mind i want to lose weight but i'm allergic to exercise I want to start my business but I'm scared of failing. I want to score good marks in my exams but I'm scared of exams. I want to be happy but my life is terrible and miserable. Drop the but. So starting today, here's your mental command. Priyanka, drop the but. I want to. Priyanka, drop the but. I want to. You see everything after but becomes a belief system that your subconscious mind picks up again and again and again learns it and makes it exactly like i am so when you start dropping the but you drop everything after but and you stop at i want to and the mind starts picking up i want to then through repetition learns it makes you so starting today every time a but comes in your mind priyanka drop the but i want to i want to i want to and the mind starts picking up what you want beautiful command try this immediately your third command is for those who overthink now in most of my master classes overthinking comes up as the number one challenge and i'm sure most of you listening to me also have this challenge here's what you're going to do when your mind starts overthinking or it gets uh, negative thoughts or you're not able to concentrate or focus this is what you're going to tell yourself priyanka are you present you see the conscious mind always lives in the past and the future it doesn't live in the present it's only your subconscious mind that lives in the present so the mind is always reminding you of the past or the future when you say are you present the mind has to come the now and say yes it can't say no i'm not present neither can it say yes from the past or the future it has to come the present moment so the mind comes the present moment says yes drops all the thoughts and you come to now and you continue doing what you're doing or you now able to focus and concentrate this also has something to do with your wiring in your database remember as a child in attendance schools i'm talking to a friend priyanka rao present ma'am i go all alert so you can actually use this command are you present and your mind drops the thought your third command and the fourth one is a beautiful command one of my favorite for those who procrastinate the command is this If it takes 2 minutes, get it done. The small ticket items, calling a friend, sending an SMS, sending an email, cleaning a wardrobe, putting your glass in the in the in the kitchen, the small ticket items that you constantly procrastinate. Priyanka, if it takes 2 minutes, get it done. It takes 2 minutes, do it. So what happens here is the mind keeps getting the command, it starts doing it in 2 minutes, and the beauty of this command is, and I've reached here, so I'm sharing with from experience. Soon in a couple of weeks, the mind will be so trained with this command it will tell you instead of you telling it priyanka 2 minutes do it priyanka just takes 2 minutes finish it off the mind becomes your manager that's how powerful this command is so i am the power of i am drop the but 
am I present and the two minute rule. These commands will help you start changing your mindset to start changing your reality. Remember, you were not born a victim. Uh, you, were, you are not a, you know, a victim who's always living in a pity party, you know, blaming everybody else for your problems. You know, you are not a victim. You are a manifester. You are a co-creator. You're creating your tomorrow starting today as you go. Claim that power. You've understood the power of your thought, the power of your belief the power of your mind start using it now to start manifesting remember that your soul isn't here to achieve this is a beautiful quote i got from vishen lakhani it really, really spoke to me where he said your soul is not here to achieve your soul is here to evolve so don't get seduced by success or broken by failure evolve so for all of you listening to me today start evolving your mindset start evolving your life that's what you are here for and if some of you want to start taking action please start taking action starting today get a mentor or coach you don't need to come to me you can go to anybody you're comfortable with but get a mentor and a coach start your journey if this subject really really interests you you can find me as mind coach priyanka Rao on social media on instagram on facebook on youtube you can follow a lot of content that i keep posting almost on a daily basis but if you really want to fast track your growth and you think you need help and you want to do it immediately and you wish to continue this journey with me, I'm going to show you how you can continue this journey with me. Uh, for those who don't wish to continue this journey with me, the masterclass is over and you can actually log off. But for those who wish, I'm going to now spare 5-10 minutes with you on how you can actually start this journey along with me. So remember, as a, as a coach, I'm here to teach you tools and techniques. So I give you a very small glimpse of how you can teach yourself uh, reprogramming and rewiring. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I have a three layered approach in which firstly, I will train your conscious mind at the first layer to reject negative thoughts drop overthinking, mental noise. How do you replace them with positive thought patterns? I will show you how to dialogue with the mind. The mind doesn't want to do it, but you dialogue with the mind, say, do it. It can be done. I can do it. You know, if you look at the sports, at least the Olympians, you know, they push their mind to reach that final sprint or that final run or that final score or that final point. How do you dialogue with the mind is what I teach you at this layer. The second layer, however, is the most powerful layer. That is 90% of your mind, that is your subconscious mind. At this layer, how do you reprogram yourself on your own is what I will teach you. So I will show you how to dismantle the roots of your childhood beliefs that are right now triggering your adulthood. I will teach you techniques to clear adult damaging belief systems and then we will replace them with empowering beliefs to get you to the next level that you're ready for or whatever you want to achieve in life. At this layer, I'll be teaching you almost seven belief clearing techniques. They're all from various sciences that I'll share with you. And once I teach you the techniques, you don't need me or any other coach intervention after that. You can reprogram all your life on your own if any other challenge comes up in future. Uh, so my job is to make you independent. And the third layer is the energy layer. This is the most important. Remember, energy cannot be destroyed. You can't shoot it, burn it, kill it, but it can be transformed. So I can take this water, make it ice or make it vapor. I can transfer it. So your memories, your experiences, what happened in childhood, your fears, your emotions, all this is energy sitting in your subconscious and it can't be destroyed. So it keeps getting triggered, keeps growing in you. Remember, wherever awareness flows, energy grows, takes you over and at some point in time you become a slave to it. But you can transform it, you can transfer it. How do you do that? Through two internationally energy release techniques is what I will teach you. Uh, and even these techniques, once taught, you can do it on your own. This is the reason when you attack any challenge on these three layers, there is no way you cannot shift. This is why most of my clients experience results in an average of three to five weeks. That's how powerful your mind is. This is not a WhatsApp program. This is not a pre-recorded online digital program. These are private individual one-on-one -on -one sessions directly with me, coached personally by me as my coach Priyanka Rao. 
right these are the tools that i cover if some of you are still skeptical will this really work on me i've had this for so many years i've tried so many things i've you know i've tried spiritual programs books motivational videos nothing has helped you don't have to trust me trust the sciences these are tried and tested over decades across the world i use tools from neuro linguistic programming energy psychology positive psychology subconscious mind programming and cognitive behavioral therapy these tools and techniques can't go wrong they are universal and they will work on you right in fact one of the techniques i want to share with you is on your screen emotional freedom techniques please google it please youtube this technique in my 15 years of study this is possibly the most powerful technique i have found i have used it on myself for 10 years my clients have removed trauma childhood abuse rape memories overthinking low self worth anxiety fears just with this technique uh, you know there was a there was a trial done uh, abroad on eft on college students and if you see on your screen eft achieved in two sessions the same benefits that cbd did in five sessions that's how powerful this technique is in fact this is one of the techniques i will teach you today it's used for clinical health purposes there are tons of medical journals articles and research reviews on eft and uh, i'm not going to go into the details of this technique but typically it is acupressure but using your fingers you have certain acupressure points that you see on your screen that if you start activating it starts releasing the energy permanently out of your system remember you were not born with these challenges you don't have to live with them please take help or start this journey on your own or you can come to me and liberate yourself now if this if this really really appeals to you and you want to continue this journey with me i'm going to share two programs with you on your screen the mind coaching program and the belief clearing quest the mind coaching program is for those who procrastinate who have a fear of public speaking who are scared who have anxiety and panic attacks who lack confidence who are overthinkers who are lazy or who don't have any challenges but simply want to learn the mindset of the most successful people you want to upgrade your mindset to go to the next level you want to unlock your next potential and the mind takes you there this program is for you but the belief clearing quest is for those who have damaging beliefs from childhood low self esteem you feeling stuck and lost you're confused you're unhappy you feel inferior you know you have certain fears from childhood then this quest and this program is for you now in this is a 7 week program that i have personally with you in week 1 to week 4 we'll be dismantling and releasing whatever is in you all your damaging fears beliefs and thought patterns and energy you'll receive almost seven belief clearing techniques one energy release technique and emotional freedom techniques also simultaneously in the first four weeks we will also be building empowering in new belief systems to take you to the next level and to your next potential and here i'll teach you new linguistic programming subconscious mind programming mental commands positive psychology and the law of attraction how you can make it use for you and finally in the final week i will teach you once all your challenges have been resolved how to raise your frequency to go to your next level your next potential and your next reality once you shift your pro- your frequency you attract a different set of circumstances and reality how do you do that is what you get at the last session right now in the seven week program it's only five sessions you just have to meet me five times i don't need more than that and neither do you to start reprogramming you to meet me once a week for two hours you just have to invest two hours with me so every week i'll be teaching you techniques you'll be pr- practicing them you come back in next week we advance the techniques you practice it week 3 is a very powerful week we'll go into your childhood and we'll dismantle the roots and we'll keep advancing the techniques week on week so in the mind coaching program you get almost 20 mind coaching tools in the belief clearing quest you'll get almost 20 belief clearing techniques these are 10 to 15 minutes simple practical ex- exercises that will integrate it in your daily lives you don't have to take out time for it it integrates in your daily lives right and you'll receive personal support and step by step guidance personally from me and once you're done with the sessions we even have two progress calls uh to review your progress and see there are no reversals and you're consistent so essentially even though you're meeting me for five times only um the sixth session is just a backup session in case we need it but you're with me for almost 
two weeks. Now, this program in this COVID uh, time since 2020 is at a 50% discount. Grab that discount because this is only going to be there till the end of this year because the whole mental health issues in India, uh, it was originally at 30,000, it's now 15,000 and I'm, it's going to stay till the end of the year only. Uh, so, avail this 50% discount. We also have a payment option plan. So, don't worry in case you want to avail the payment option plan that will also be shared with you uh, to help you actually manage these expenses well. So, with mind coaching, you'll be able to build a risk taking mindset to turn on, turn on the entrepreneur. You'll be able to speak in public fearlessly. You'll increase your self worth in your relationships, in your marriage, in your equations with people. You'll be able to reduce procrastination and laziness in life and as a result take action where you want to take action. With mind coaching you'll actually be able to take the plunge and do what you always wanted to do and you'll be able to even succeed at finding your right job or your right promotion. Remember it's all about your mindset. Now some of you might be thinking this is great I need this but I don't have the time. Stop. Who's telling you don't have the time? That's your limiting belief system. Forget me, it will never find time for anything in your life because it will always tell you you don't have the time. Next year, next time, later. Break that belief because if you can break it with me, you can break it with your most important decisions of your life. Right? So take control of that. These are some of my clients who have worked with me. Uh, you know, Mr. Rathor actually rediscovered the beauty of his marriage. He, his mind shift, shift helped him quit his job and become a CTO and a co-founder in two startups in Pune and he transformed his insecurities, his uncertainties, two weeks. That's what he mentions on the screen. Um, here's another engineer who overcame procrastination and actually found a new job with his mindset shift. Uh, here's a gentleman who's 56 years old who had the fear of public speaking all his life. In two weeks, he delivered his first speech to 90 to 100 people without any fear. Let me show you how my mindset has helped me, right? I was 19 and this is me in Jain College in, uh, in Mumbai. So those who are listening out to me from Mumbai, you'll know which college it is. At 19, I was offered a job with Marriott India and I already had a job when I graduated. I got the top most sales award in Marriott International and I was flown down to Hawaii. I was 27 years old. I got my dream job in the top most luxury hospitality company, the Ritz Carlton. I was 28 years old. I quit the job to an entrepreneur without a job in hand. I was 30 years old. This is me in America getting certified as an image consultant when I was 30. And I came back to India. I turned an entrepreneur. At 33, I launched my first startup in Goa. It's a food e-commerce startup, a food tech. I won runners up in a startup competition um, where I made a pitch for women led entrepreneurs and in this one year what you see on the screen is my achievement as a mind coach. I now have you know almost uh, 6000 followers on Facebook and you know almost 13, 1400 followers the last I checked I think this has increased now uh, and this all happened only in the past one year because of a mindset shift. Right? So, why mind coach Priyanka Rao? This is not counseling. I don't do talk therapy. I'm not performing a therapy on you. Uh, I'll be teaching you tools and techniques. These are private one on one sessions. If you're still not convinced, this is India's only personalized mind coaching program on a one on one basis. Think of it like a mental health first aid box. When you have this mental health first aid box, all your life, if any fear comes up, challenge comes up, or stress comes up in future, Simply pick up the tools for the mental health box, apply them, overcome it. You don't have to be a slave to your emotions or fears anymore. And to help you be further convinced, this is one of the very few programs where you get to speak to the coach before you book it. So I actually offer a free 30 minute discovery consultation call to all of you. Uh, I will be, that it's on your uh, landing page right now. Uh, there is a tab to book a call with me. You can book a call with me. You can speak to me for 30 minutes and then be convinced, have all your questions answered and then book your program. Uh, I also, for all of you who are attending this masterclass, because you have taken, you have trusted me and you have 
stayed with me till the end. I'm going to share certain value bonus tax with you. I'm going to also teach you procrastination techniques. I'm going to teach you how to bypass your laziness. I'm going to teach you mindset hacks for time management. I'm going to show you how you build your willpower. Remember, it's all about willpower on a daily basis. I'm going to teach you an advanced mental noise technique that is taught to monks in ashrams. And I'm going to show you how you raise your frequency. All these are bonus stacks which are typically at a different course altogether, which is also at 15,000. So essentially, I'm giving you a saving of almost 30,000. It's only going to be here till the end of the year. Uh, so please avail it. You can book your call with me. Uh, there is the link down below. Just book your call. There's a brief questionnaire you'll get to help me prepare for the call. And at the date and the time that you have chosen, you will get receive a call directly from me and then once you speak to me you can actually book the program however if you are completely convinced and you want to go right ahead and book the program you can also book the program on uh, on this landing page we have several programs lined up for you you can choose the program that works best for you and uh, start this journey right away thank you very very much um, remember you were never born with these challenges you don't have to live with it take control Change your words, change your reality, change your thoughts, change your life. God bless you. I invite you to book a 30-minute discovery consultation call with me at 999. This is a fully refundable call. Should you not wish to go ahead with the program at the end, we will refund it to you, no questions asked. However, if you wish to continue this journey towards self-sufficiency with me, then your program value will just be 14,000 after this call.